Yo, what's poppin'? It's the Hyphenate, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use your Sony camera as a webcam in OBS Studio without a capture card. Now this will work with your Sony A6000 series cameras, A7 series, and A9 series. In this video, I'm specifically using the Sony A6600. The only thing you're gonna need to use your camera as a webcam is a data micro USB cable, preferably the one that came with your camera. If it's just a charging cable, it won't work. It has to be a data USB cable. Now on this channel, I've already done a video on how to use your Sony camera as a webcam with a capture card. So if you have a capture card or if you're interested in getting one, then watch that video. I have a link for that video in the description. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround where you don't need a capture card, but there are some cons and I'm gonna explain those at the end of this video. But now let's get straight to the tutorial. Now the first thing you're gonna need to do is go to your Sony camera, go into your menu, go to network, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you go to control with smartphone. Make sure that your control with smartphone is set to off. After that, then go into your settings and go to where it says USB connection, and then you're gonna change that if it's at auto or mass storage, change that and select PC remote. You need to do those two things first. Once you've done that, then go ahead and connect your micro USB cable from your camera and connect it to the computer while your camera is on. So now that you have your camera on, properly set up and connected to your computer via USB, you're gonna have to launch the remote app from Sony. Now, if you don't already have this, you're gonna have to go online and search for Sony Imaging Edge Desktop and you're gonna go to their website and download the software for either Mac or Windows. I have a Windows, so I'm gonna download that, then install it. This software is actually kind of a bundle that includes viewer, remote, and edit. Make sure everything is fully installed and then you'll have remote and then you can open that app. Now that you've opened it and your camera's connected and on, you'll see your camera here under model name and then connection USB. Go ahead and double click on your camera and then it says connecting, waiting for a response from the camera. And then here, now you have the actual app showing your video feed from your camera. And as you can see, you have a full set of settings that you can change. You can change ISO, your aperture, shutter speed, etc. Pretty much you use this software like a remote to control your camera. So now that we have this open, just leave it there for now. Launch OBS Studio. If you don't already have that, download it, it's free. And once you have OBS open, you can go down to where it says sources. Here is where you add your video and audio sources and click on the little plus symbol. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a window capture. So go ahead and select that. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this Sony Cam. Press okay. And then here you can actually see the window from the remote app. Now. If you have various windows open on your computer, you might get the wrong one that shows up. Click on this little drop down menu where it says window. And if you have various windows, you can go through the list and see which one you want. Obviously we're gonna use remote, so I'll have that selected and then click okay. Now, as you can see here, this is extremely zoomed in and you are getting way bigger of a window here than fits in the screen. The reason for that is because my computer is actually viewing on a 4K monitor. So my screen capture in OBS is a 4K monitor, but I actually have the settings here to be a 1080p video feed on OBS. So what you could do is you can make this fit into the actual window of the OBS HD, right click on this layer of this window, the Sony cam, and then click on transform and then go to fit to screen. And now it's gonna fit it properly. Now, if you're using a smaller screen, bigger screen, et cetera, you can use that method just to make sure that it fits in nice and snug into your feed, whatever resolution you're using. Now, as you can see here, there is a bit of a delay. It's not super smooth, it's a little choppy. And that's because you're doing this entire feed through USB instead of HDMI. With HDMI, you actually don't have this and it's way more smooth. But now that you have the remote window in OBS, now you probably don't want all this extra stuff, all the settings. You don't want the remote app on top showing like the battery percentage or any of these options. You just want the actual video feed. So what you could do is hold Alt on your keyboard and then go to any of the squares on the sides, the top, bottom, left, right, etc., of this Sony cam source, hold Alt on the keyboard and then drag. And what you could do is you're actually now trimming your feed. And that way you can get rid of the stuff you don't want. 
So now using OBS, you could either record this video or live stream with your Sony cam as a webcam. Now it's very important to know that this is only going to display a video feed and no audio, even if you have a microphone connected to your Sony camera. So you're gonna have to make sure that you have a microphone that's connected to the computer and here on OBS. In order to do that, you're gonna go to the plus symbol and then you're gonna go to audio input capture then you're gonna rename it whatever you want and then you're gonna have to select your microphone that's connected to your computer and then you'll have an audio source under audio mixer. Now, the reason why I can't really show you that is because this microphone is actually connected to the computer in another screen capture software and it's being used to actually capture this tutorial. But once you've added your audio source, you'll have a little mixture window here where you can adjust the volume of that mic input. Now, another very important thing to know is that you have to keep this remote app open. If you lower it, it actually freezes your feed on OBS. So make sure that you have it open and then that way your window stays active in OBS. So because you're gonna have your video and audio coming from separate sources, you might encounter a delay where the video and the audio is not synced properly. So you'll be speaking and the video will be, you know, a few seconds or milliseconds behind and it's noticeable. I do have a video tutorial on this channel that shows you how to fix that and sync your video and audio even if they're coming from separate sources. I have a link for that video in the description. So now you can live stream with this video feed using OBS. Now, if you wanna know how to output your live stream from OBS to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Mixer all at the same time, I also have a video on this channel that shows you how to use one stream output and it'll simultaneously live stream to all those platforms. I have a link for that video also in the description. Now I'm gonna show you guys one more thing. Let's say you wanna get a little bit more fancy and you don't want this video feed taking up the entire screen and you wanna just use the video feed from the camera as a small piece overlay on a small part of the screen. So for example, let's say we're doing a gaming video. I'm gonna go ahead and add another source. I'm gonna add my PS4. So we're gonna do video capture. We're gonna call this PS4 and then we're gonna press okay here. And I have my, PS4 already connected via the Elgato HD60S. So here we have the actual game screen and then we have the Sony cam here in the sources. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the top. But now I wanna actually make this smaller. So I'm gonna click on the Sony cam. I'm going to hold control. I'm gonna drag to make it a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna move it. And then again, I'm gonna hold Alt on the keyboard and I'm gonna start trimming this because let's just say I just want myself none of the actual studio. And then I'm gonna hold control again, make it a little bit smaller. And then we just put it here. Now I go about playing my game. And now you see me, I've already done the sync. So my video and audio is perfectly synced up, no delay. And then we go ahead and play, we capture. And now I'm using my Sony camera with autofocus with the eye tracking, everything works just fine. And now I have a webcam without having to get another capture card for my Sony camera. Now I do wanna mention on certain older cameras, the video mode in the remote app is a little bit more sluggish and the autofocus kinda of has some issues. Again, it's because you're transferring this video feed via USB which doesn't work as great as coming out of HDMI where everything is super smooth. I have seen another tutorial where the person had an issue using the USB and the autofocus, so he actually had to disable it. Now with the Sony A6600 and the computer that I have, which can handle a decent amount of stuff, it's kind of powerful. I'm not really having any issues with the autofocusing or any of the features from the camera. The only thing that I do notice again is that it doesn't feel as super smooth as a video at the full 50 frames per second or 60 frames per second. It does feel like it's a webcam. So with that being said, if you want a higher quality, if you want it to be super smooth and pretty much perfect, then I would recommend getting a capture card like the Elgato Cam Link or the HD60S. And you can use that, which I use for doing live music performances, et cetera, on my main channel with the Sony Cam and it looks, Phenomenal.
But again, this is a pretty good alternative that saves you some money. So there you guys have it. That's how you use your Sony camera as a webcam without a capture card. If you're interested in getting a capture card, this camera, the lens that I use, etc., I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video. Drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.